hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about the fire suppression system the fm200 system and the brand the model number for this the brand is kentec yes kentec electronics okay and it's coming from it's an extinguishing panel and what happened actually is i need to replace this panel i need to replace this panel because it has faults the fault is the, the power supply whenever it's given it's not coming we can just take it for servicing but for the meantime because uh, um, the panel's price might not be compared to the gas that is being worked on it's better for us to just go for replacement so we will just replace this one and first and foremost we would have to remove all the cables and before you remove you have to make sure uh, you label them nicely so then when you would want to connect back it would be simple so then this is the new panel right here this is just new yeah you can see it's new that's the batteries so I will just take you through the wiring and after I will take you through the programming also as well so stay tuned thank you first and foremost on the new panel you have to just check the holes that were removed then you try to just remove them so I will just pull this one down and I will use my plier to just remove okay okay So it will just be like this then you remove by counting so you don't remove in excess okay great so let's move on as you can see we have one two three this four and five we can interchange at the back one two three okay so from here we will just make it three three okay then after we remove the other two then the one in the center also on your own left side we will just make that also one in the middle then it will be set for all for safety purposes you try as much as possible to remove the motherboard from damaging so you can see only the transformer and the power supply that will just be left in the enclosure okay so let's move ahead we we'll just start this hole it's for this box which is connected to the fire alarm yeah. right hi sorry for safety purposes we need to just put masking tape but I don't have masking tape so I just put this uh, put this aluminium tape and so you can see this is the extinguishing cable this is the data cable this is the 24 volt so as per how you are going to understand just label it that as wise okay don't just be too confident in yourself that you can just remove and wire it back yes you can by again tracing all over again but for safety purposes just put tape label them then just um, remove them one after the other after your work is going to be easy so just stay tuned and watch me okay so we're going to remove the motherboard so then it will just be left with the okay so it's gonna be like this that's the transformer so we will just open up the cables then just remove the cables out then we are going to remove the enclosure also so we can install the new one though we could keep the new the old one and put the new board there but um, the clients don't want it like that so we will change also the enclosure also so as you can see the cables we are still removing yeah so we just remove the cables one after the other straighten them up then open the 
rubber gland then we will just pull out the cables then we we'll go for the next one 